Most humanitarian crises are looked at through a cosmopolitan point of view, due to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. With that being said, they are also nation-specific. What I mean by that is, for example, in North Korea, they have an extremely unethical dictatorship that treats their, their citizens very poorly and with barely any human rights. This is specific to the nation of North Korea, and it does not spread outside. But with the environmental crisis, which, which my presentation is focused on, it is a global issue, a global humanitarian crisis, because of the fact that it affects every single person on this planet. And it's also interesting because these issues were created by humans, and now these will most likely be our demise. So, in this instance, we created this humanitarian crisis, all of us, but namely big corporations. And if we don't do anything about it, it will be a much bigger issue 10 to 15 years down the line. With it being understood now that the environmental crisis is a global humanitarian issue, it can be easily understood that many artists are involved in climate change activism around the world. The first artwork and artist that I will be focusing on is Liquid City Now and Then by Eve Mosher, and it was made in 2018. Um, so this artwork focuses on the idea that there will be rising water levels gradually over the course of this century. And it displays a geographical location from 2018, and then it's a, it's a moving image, so it slowly changes to how the, how the land will look in 2100 due to rising water levels of around six feet, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is definitely a big deal. The second artwork that I have wrote about is called Climate Change is Real, which is a very eye-catching sight. It's, it's a very interesting work of art by Nortijan Frodo, made in 2020. She tries to express the idea that there is an exorbitant amount of waste in this world due to capitalism and consumerism. She uses e-waste to create this, this work of art, and it displays a young girl, almost teeth gritting in disgust, kind of, that she is made out of all of this, you know, uh, material that has been disposed of. Um, it's it's very interesting to look at all the different textures and colors of this e-waste. Artists and artistry is such an integral part of aiding in the process of climate change activism because it helps to create a visual perspective on how truly we are being affected by our own actions, which is shown through these two artworks.